Hey guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, I thought my last video on Funny Girl was going to be my final video. But apparently this show just keeps on giving drama. It closes on Broadway in September, but now the national tour is going to kick off. And casting for the national tour has ignited some controversy among Jewish actors because they cast... Katrina McCrimmon as Fanny Bryce, and she's not Jewish. She's Cuban-American. So when the casting call went out, um, they did ask for Jewish actors to audition, and she knows she's not Jewish. Her agent must have known she's not Jewish, but she auditioned anyway. And I'm not here to put fault on anybody. I mean, she got the role. Um, but inevitably, these kind of of casting um, decisions always go down some kind of slippery slope. Um, I mean, whether it's the diversity and ethnicity or, you know, not just in Jewish roles, but always like, you know, what kind of call should be made? Do you always have to play your ethnicity to get a role? Um, also, like in gay straight roles, do you have to be gay to play a gay role? Do you have to be straight to play a straight role? I mean, it's these are always debates held in the industry and i'm not even really here to have all those kind of debates i am here to look at the very specific role of fanny bryce because i think it is a very unique part fanny bryce uh was a jewish comedian um and she made she was a trailblazer uh in her time and she got famous uh with the zigfield follies and she stood out because she felt I, i'm not like these other zigfield folly girls i she felt i don't have the looks i'm not pretty i'm not a show girl so i'm gonna be funny and the way i'm gonna be funny is i'm gonna be like make fun of my jewishness if you will this is kind of going to be my shtick if you will um i know i'm kind of awkward i i'm making fun of my looks my jewish looks my jewish ways my physicalities and that's all in the script you can't get around it and so I think it does take somebody who's Jewish to understand that, to have lived all those kind of experiences because they're in on the joke. It's much like when you take a comedian who's um, Hispanic or black or Asian and they make fun of all their experiences growing up, their culture, their traditions. And it's okay, we're not laughing at them, we're laughing with them. Because while they're making fun of all this stuff and they're making it funny, we, we're we laughing with them. And that's the way Fanny Bryce is. We're laughing with her, we're not laughing at her because she's like nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, it's okay to laugh with me because I'm making fun of myself. And it's okay. And so when you bring somebody who's not Jewish, I'm not even saying Cuban American, it could be anybody, if you bring somebody who's not Jewish to do this role and they're making fun of all these things, it's like an outsider now and you're saying, oh, is it okay to laugh? Because I don't know if it's genuine or authentic now. They can learn it, they can mimic it, um, but that's what it is, it's mimicry. And then I don't know if that's funny. So that's a bit awkward. I'm not saying it's racist, but at the very least it's awkward. And um, you know, in the 60s when this was originally cast, Carol Burnett was asked to take on the role. And she said, no, because I don't feel right. That I don't really understand um, that sense of humor, I, I her her comedic act i'm i'm not jewish so i don't feel right in the role they also didn't want mary martin in the role because they felt like she didn't read read right in the role she didn't have those kind of qualities she wasn't jewish then they found barbara streisand and she was perfect for the role she was a young jewish girl and she got that she had that voice those physicalities she was perfect for the role. And ever since then, other Jewish actresses have taken on this role. 
and it hadn't been done on such a big scale in other Broadway productions since Beanie Feldstein took it over. And um, she's obviously Jewish, and she got that Jewish quality, whether you liked her in the role or didn't like her in the role. I mean, she, she did have an understanding of what it's like to be a Jewish girl, a Jewish comedian in that part. So did Julie Benko, who's Jewish. She was her understudy. And so did Leah Michelle. She's Jewish. She's half Jewish on her father's side. But anyway, they, they all get what it is to be Jewish and have those qualities. So now you have this girl. And I don't know her. I've never seen her. I, I'm not speaking to even her talent. I'm speaking to anyone that would take over the role who's not Jewish. And I can see where this has sparked some controversy. I think there are certain roles that take a certain, um, not just Jewish, but they do take that certain background or having that certain knowledge that when you take them over, you sort of have to be of that person to have that understanding when you take over that role, your certain life experiences to know what you're doing with that role. And therein, therein lies the controversy and that always kicks up this debate when certain roles get cast. People feel like, do they really, ha should they really have that part? Do they really know what it's like to have that part? But anyway, that, that's what always happens when these debates happen. So it remains to be seen. Maybe we're prejudging her too harshly already. I don't know, but remains to be seen. So more drama with this show. Seems to be never ending. All right, subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in my next.